Oh my goodness. Is that not gorgeous? Hey guys, welcome back. So Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I've just been keeping it pretty simple. I don't have, well, I felt like I didn't have a ton of favorites, but I'm looking in front of me and there, there are a few things sitting in front of me, but I wasn't really like pretty simple makeup looks, you know, just like a go-to sort of a look for me. That's what I've been loving. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites, so let's get to it. For eyes, I was pretty much reaching for these palettes, mostly this one, but then I would kind of like add in things from this palette. So this is the Dominique essential palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm by Ipsy and I love this palette. It's a row of mattes and a row of beautiful metallic shades and I just love it. So mainly was reaching for this one. This is what I have in my crease but then one day I wore this one and it was beautiful. Um, mainly reached for this shade. That's mostly what I have on my lid but then I have a little bit of this one and I love this shade. It's like a really beautiful unique duochrome. The formula is so good. The mattes are very blendable and easy to work with. The metallics are just beautiful. I've pretty much been using them just with my finger. Like I'll just kind of tap my finger and, you know, rub it across my eyes to kind of get that really pretty, sort of lighter, not over the top metallic look. Um, yeah, so like, oh my goodness. Is that not gorgeous? I just looked at it in the mirror. I think that is stunning. Oh my goodness. It is such a unique duochrome. I hope you can see it. Every time I film, I feel like I can see the duochrome perfect like in my mirror or in my monitor. But then sometimes when I'm editing later, I'm like, oh, I didn't like turn it just right because the way I turn it looks different to me than it does to you guys on the camera. I don't know why, but let's turn it all the directions and hopefully you can see how beautiful these are. This one is more of like a, like a peachy sort of a shade, like a peachy rose gold. And then this one, when I look down at my hand, it looks so gold. But then when I raise my hand up, it looks a lot more pinky peachy, which is just gorgeous. I think that's so fun. So I have those on my eyes. Um, yeah, just a great palette. Very nice and weighty, like it's a heavy palette. Might not be the best for travel, but it feels fancy and just the formula is just so good. And this is a newer palette from Essence. This is the Bloom Baby Bloom Eye and Face Palette. I really haven't been reaching for the shadows, but the face products I've been using on my face and also on my eyes and love it. That's really kind of like one of the things I do with makeup a lot is use like an eye not an eye, a face palette or like a, you know, a cheek trio or something using it on my eyes too. I just, I like that sort of like, I don't know, cohesive sort of makeup look. Anyway, so this is the bronzer. This is the blush. So today I have the blush on my eyes, kind of in my crease. And then I have the highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes. And I also do have the highlighter on as my cheek highlighter, but I don't, yeah, I don't have the other cheek products, just the highlighter on my cheeks, but I did wear it on my cheeks as well. And it's really good. So here are the swatches. Love the bronzer. It's like a, it's, I would say mid-tone to a little warm, but something about it I just really like. Like I like it on the cheeks. It's almost like it has a little bit of like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like the pinky reddish side of warm, not very yellowy orange, if that even makes sense. But there is the blush, a beautiful kind of peachy, slightly glowy shade. Here is the beautiful highlighter. The highlighter I would describe as like champagne. Yeah, with a little bit of peachiness to it. It's just so pretty. So it's great on the eyes and then it's great on the cheeks too. So I do have the highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes on my cheeks and then the blush just a little bit in my crease. And I love that. I love adding a blush just barely into the crease. It adds this like, I mean, depending on the, what the blush color is, but if it's like a peachy or pinky color, it's like it adds just this little bit of like, 
a peachy or a pinkiness, which makes sense. But it kind of helps like bring it all together and I just love it. A little random side note too, I did wear this on my eyes one day, the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer in Butta Biscuit. And I really liked it on my eyes. I thought it was very pretty. So use it, uh, and I had it on my um, cheeks that day too. And it was just very pretty. So I liked it on the eyes. And it, I mean, it was, you know, pretty pigmented, but then it blended well, very pretty. So there is a swatch of that. Also side note, I ordered, um, this is number four. I ordered two, number two, and <laughs> I was sitting at the kitchen table on a chair because you usually sit in a chair. <laughs> I was sitting in a chair and I opened it and it was totally shattered and it exploded everywhere, all over me. And I was sitting with my legs crossed. And I mean, thankfully Timothy was home because I just stopped and I was like, uh, because I couldn't move because it was all over my legs and like on the chair and stuff. And so I just called for Timothy and he had to bring in the vacuum and like vacuum all around vacuum me because <laughs> it was just everywhere so that stinks it looked like a pretty color from what i could tell as it was all over me but that's a side note so i tried to order the shade two but that didn't work out so well so this is shade four then for blush i got this a while back in a boxy charm by ipsy and i just love this palette so much for the blush shade specifically especially this one I just love this shade, but I have been mostly wearing both of them and that's what I have on today. So I have a little combo of both of them and they just blend so beautifully. And this has like a, just a gorgeous brightness to it that I think is so fun for springtime. It's just cute. It's a cute blush shade. I love it. Yeah. I feel like in a in the pan it looks um more peachy but i feel like in a swatch it looks very like bubblegum pink i just love it though i mean i think it's beautiful in the pan and then i think it's beautiful in a swatch on the cheeks i think it looks like almost in between like it doesn't look super bubblegum pink but of course i am wearing it with this but even still by itself i feel like it is it feels like it like looks a little bit closer to what it does in the pan I feel like I'm babbling. There it is, it's gorgeous. This one is more on the matte side, but really nice, like not dry or like powdery looking or anything, just a really nice formula. And then this has a little bit of like a glowiness to it. They're just gorgeous. Aren't they happy? They're just happy blush colors. I love it. Lips were pretty much an afterthought, but I was mostly wearing this lipstick from e.l.f. I love these, the satin lipsticks. I love the formula of them. I would, I would be so excited if they kept adding more colors. It's just so good. This is in Dirty Talk. Now this shade, I personally like to wear it with a lip liner because I mean, it's beautiful, but I don't feel like this shade by itself looks super flattering on me. And I don't know if it's just my natural lip color or what, but I feel like it just, I don't know. I feel like it almost looks lighter on my lips than it does in a swatch. So I like to pair it with a lip liner and then I love it. Or I will pair it with, um, what is the one that I love? Starts with an E. The other color that's a little bit more like mauve -y. Love that one paired with this. So sometimes I do that, but then the lip liner I'm wearing right now is the LA Girl um, Blushing Lip Liner. And it's more on, it's very close to the mauve pinky shade that I like to pair with it. So that works too, either the lipstick or this lip liner. So there they are. This is just a great affordable lip liner. It's not super creamy. Um, you know, it's not necessarily that gel kind of formula that you can fill in your lips. I mean, you could, but it's just, it's a little bit more of like a traditional pencil liner, but I still love it and it's super affordable and I love this color. So that's what I've been wearing. This just has such a good comfortable formula. Great lipsticks. I mean, this is, if I had to pick one type of lipstick or lip color formula to wear all the time, it would be this or a formula like this where it's just that really comfortable satin matte sort of formula that is not dry feeling but it's flattering looking on the lips but then it's low maintenance and it wears pretty well it's just good okay so those are all my favorites so hope that you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving let me know what you've been up to recently i would love to hear that Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.